Hello everyone and welcome to today's stream. I'm Colette and I'm the um, I'm the art director in RFM. <clears throat> Today we'll be playing some well the newest uh, build we've done so far. If any of you did see us on the what was it the Steam Next Festival, you will see some new stuff from last time. So I hope you like what you see. Alrighty then, just to make sure, is everyone hearing the game? Alrighty, great. So yeah, if anyone is interested like in joining the... <clears throat> the test stream, well, yeah. You can see the little link we shared in the chat, so you can join us in being one of the one of the game testers. If you see, if you like what you see, what I'm playing right now, then we would be very happy to have you on the team. All right, then I think it's time we start. Let's hope nothing explodes right now, but it will probably happen how it always goes. But yeah, nothing special right now, just your usual <laughs> run of the meal uh, tutorial. And just the classic fun stuff. Right now, I will be playing with the PlayStation controller. I'm I'm pretty I'm much of a fan of this kind of uh, controller. Personally, I think they did, I was the DualShock 4 was better than the 5. But well, it has some stuff. It's I feel it's a little bit more ergonomic in the old style. But it definitely has some very nice things like the uh, reactive triggers. That stuff is pretty nice. Yes, let's see how well I do in this run. These little guys here are just like the normal uh, <laughs> basic run of the mill enemy. And yeah, we would say they're pretty easy to deal with. I've, I've done this tutorial <laughs> quite a few times already, but it still gets fun. Now these little dudes here, I find it really fun to bait them into trying to attack me. Sometimes it works, sometimes I fail. So far I'm doing pretty well for the tutorial. Let's see if I keep getting there. Now, RFM is a, <clears throat> a grid-based uh, roguelite in which whenever, as you could see when I was starting to do the tutorial, whenever you do your actions, the game stops time. And like any good um, <clears throat> good roguelite, during the game you can start um, adding special skills to, so you can like start, start to make your own kind of run. For example, right now I have this little skill. Well, a modification of your main skills, which allows you to add, um, <clears throat> make your attacks stronger. As you can see, what it does, it gives a little bit of, <clears throat> as it says, vulnerability. So the next attack you do with your next skill will do <clears throat> one more damage. Right now, I only have two skills because this is a tutorial. So I will think I will give the skill to the revolver for this time around. Thank <laughs> you. 
<clears throat> and now we get a new skill. This one in particular, it's one of my favorite ones, along the with the other skill we'll <clears throat> we'll find out later on. But so far, well, <clears throat> as I was saying, the game is grid based, so I was just I can just move all the time right now. And when I want to do something, well, when I want to plan my next skill, as you can see, time stops, and I can take all the time I want to do my next action. It's very useful right now, as I was saying, this is just a tutorial, so it's not like there's much going on, but you'll see as I go further along the, this run, you'll see how I start to pause my attacks a lot more, just so I can plan it a little bit better. But right now, let's use the one skill we got now. It's pretty useful, where I can just like stop the enemy for a moment, so I can take a little bit longer to think. And yes, so right now, as I was saying, we just got a special uh, little modification for the skill, the one that was called Mark. So now, as you can see, when I do <clears throat> my attack, this little guy here gets those little fancy... Oh, sorry, I cannot point to the screen. But yeah, you can see those tiny little diamonds that appear in the character. So now, whenever I do a next attack, you can see now that <clears throat> this skill, the one that's called Prana Dash, does double damage. It's a pretty nice and useful skill. Now this little body is kind of angry at me, and I don't want him to attack me, so I will stun him again with my front explosion. And uh, why not? Let's shoot him again. And boom, there we go. One nice little combo. Whoops! <laughs> now see, as I was saying before, you have to be pretty careful when trying to bait those enemies, because if you take too long, they will stun you, and you will pretty much, <coughs> well, get stunned for a little while. It's useful to know when to use that to your advantage, because as you could say, no matter how many times Morgan hits it, I can... <coughs> I can time my attacks correctly, and then... I can avoid getting hurt. However, it doesn't matter if Morgan does get hurt. The important thing to keep on... Um, to keep protected are those little green squares in here, which are our stabilizers. Which, <laughs> they're also in the process of getting redesigned. But yeah, basically you have to always take care of those little squares when you're... <clears throat> when you're playing the game. Now, we, we first got this little, um... That was called the modification, and now we are about to get another kind of skill, which well, modification, which is a little bit more special. Let's see which one we get up. <clears throat> so yeah, the way this works. If anyone in you of the in the stream is, has ever uh, played a roguelike before, you know how it always goes. Like, oh, you get these skills, and you have to see how far you can get <clears throat> along with the skills and the bo bo boost you get for your skills. So right now, we got these two options, which is the double dash and the chain reaction. I feel really happy about that because chain reaction is one of my favorite uh, modifications. So, as you can see, it has a tiny explanation. In this case, I could do like more of a longer <coughs> damage with the Prana Dash skill, or when I have the chain reaction, I can, like, well, as, as the name says, I can chain the stunned enemies as long as they're touching. So, I'm going to go to go with that one. And once we do this, we are <clears throat> We're done with the tutorial, and now it's <clears throat> it's it's on to the good stuff. Let's see how long I can go. <laughs> now I think I will go with another mod. Let's see if I get one of the good ones. Wish me luck, guys. <laughs>
This is pretty basic stuff so far. And let's see, let's see what to sell this guy. Like, I still have plenty of time to just play around in the... <clears throat> Um, in the stage because there's not a lot of enemies and not a lot of stuff going on but as I was saying let's see how it keeps going on the cards are this little thing in like it's a currency inside the game where you can use it to improve your skills however this time I didn't choose one of it I just went with another mod so when I <clears throat> when I start collecting more cards I'll have a chance to <clears throat> upgrade different skills so, this one is interesting, like, I can have a 50% chance of adding an uh, one extra damage if the enemy has any status effect. Right now, I already have the ability to give a status effect to the enemies with the uh, mark uh, modification. So, <clears throat> let's see what happens. Now, I will add this one to the Prana Dash, and if I time it correctly, I would have a chance to... Um, do this like if the enemy is stunned or if the enemy already has like a <clears throat> double in the pretty skill I could possibly get a chance to make up to three <clears throat> points of damage to the enemy let's see how it goes now here these two are kinds of currencies inside the game the prana is just like the normal um you could say it's like the normal currency it's where you can buy stuff like random stuff in the shop and the cores are specifically made for upgrading your mods. So I think it might be more beneficial to me to get some of the prana just in case I get a chance that the shop <coughs> appears and I can fix up my stabilizer. Now here are my little friends. I'm pretty good at baiting them. I, if I say so myself. I almost always time it right. But yeah, now I have some prana. And, as you can see, I could go to the store. Let's go visit it. Uh, I would say sometimes it's useful to have prana. As I was saying, I would like to go a little bit on the safer side. And I would like to save up, well, to upgrade my... Have it later. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Like... You could always go and improve your skills. However, sometimes like you don't know if you get a little bit um <clears throat> careless in your run. Sometimes like you get way too much damage, so it's always good to like have a little bit of a stash so you can protect yourself and save up well heal up your stabilizer if we could say it that way. So yeah, these two twins in here are the owners of the shop and they will give you all sorts of fancy stuff that you can get in here. Now, as you can see, I only have three uh, prana currency, so there, there isn't like much I could buy, but I could change it for money, or well, I could also... <clears throat> well, I could improve my stabilizer, however, I'm two currencies short, so I would just go with my charge. Which is very nice. Now I now now my health bar is full, and I feel a little bit more calm with that. Now I'm <laughs> I'm broke already. I cannot buy anything else of this stuff, so it's time to leave. Now here we got a chance to get another special mod or another core. Now the special mods are always well, they're very special, so it's pretty good to always try to keep them <clears throat> when they like, take a chance to snatch them whenever they appear. So I will do just that. Now here we go, more of my little friends.
Now you can see that I'm trying to avoid these little um, goopy things in the stage. Let's see if I can bait any of the enemies over there. Or <laughs> I can get hit myself. Little mistake in there. But it's not something we cannot recover from. So we're doing pretty well right now. Let's see... I think I can ignore this guy. Yeah, as you can see, this little goopy stuff, what exactly what it does, it traps you for 5 seconds. So I try to avoid it as much as I can. If I do get stuck in it, I have a chance to use my Prana Dash. Now we got <clears throat> two options for the special mods, and they're both for the gun. Now we have the shotgun and the sniper shot. It's pretty... <clears throat> it's pretty standard stuff. We can have like... I could go with an option of making my... <clears throat> my revolver attack a little bit shorter, but have a higher range. Kind of like making it like an AoE attack. Or I could go for a longer skill, which... I'm also personally more of a fan of the sniper shot than the shotgun shot. Like, AoEs can be useful, but sometimes they're more like... Confusing. So... Yeah, it's kind of interesting, like... <clears throat> the shotgun can get interesting, but as I said, I'm more of a sniper shot kind of gal, so I will go with just that. And now we only have force and prana. Right now, I don't really think I need more prana because all my <laughs> stabilizer health is complete, so let's actually go with some cores and see if you know those appear. No, sorry guys, I'm more of a sniper girl, sorry, sorry. <clears throat> see now i can do this and boom it's very interesting like these little guys are a little bit too separate so it would really work but let's see what goes now i can't do much right now but Here we go, and these little guys want the do stuff. However, let's see if I... Ooh! Oh no! Let's see if it works. Yeah, there we go! Perfect time to show off just how nice the sniper shot can be. See? Like, here's like over gun, but I can <clears throat> get one of the little guys, then get the other one, even if there's one square of a distance between them. It's pretty great! I think it's... I think it's the best, um mod for the revolver like by far in my honest opinion however everyone in the team has like a different opinion it could go but as i said i'm not a big fan well i could have gotten the long dash this time around however i much prefer having the chain reaction whenever it appears it's it's a really good skill So let's get this little friend in here. Here we go. Now, right now I can't do much stuff with that. However, let's see. We were saying... Let's see if it adds up. Well, you can't really see it right now because it's just one enemy. Some fun little... Enemy positioning going right there. See my little trick there, guys? And we're done. So, now we have one core. Hey! That's pretty interesting, we just got Yuno too. I'm having a pretty nice run right now. Maybe I will be able to do it. So, let's go visit her. <clears throat> and let's see what we can do with that one core. And here we go! If any of you was reading the tutorial a little boy before, you saw that this little mysterious um, shadow of a person just talking before in the little note. This is her. She is Juno and she is the one that <clears throat> she's the one that gives you these modifications and she's also the one who improves them. She's she's pretty blue. And 
You can see she's kind of pretty happy. She is kind of a favorite in the team. It's a double character, just like just going with this whole feeling of designing aliens. It's pretty fun. Like, yeah, we have the humans, but we can also do fun stuff like trying to play around with different kinds of designs. I don't know if any one of you was also joining us in the stream of two weeks ago, where we were talking about the whole um, design stuff. So yeah, if any of you were, were joining us that time, you can see how we have, um, <clears throat> as we were talking the other day, like how she's kind of like a bird, uh, fish, fungi lady. It's an interesting mix. <laughs> so yeah. Let's see what we can upgrade. No, I just have two mods right now. And I just have one core, so I cannot choose one of these. Maybe if I had chosen the core last time instead of the prana, I could upgrade my two skills. However, I really wanted that stabilizer charge, so no regrets there. No regrets at all. Now, as you can see, it's just upgrading. Here we have 2 seconds of vulnerability, and now we can have 4 seconds. And here we can upgrade our from a 50% chance to 70% chance. I think... I think I like that one. So... Maybe... Yeah, I think we can do something interesting in this time. Yeah... Or, what do you say, chat? Should we go with Mark or with the Spinder? Who we choose, guys? What would be more interesting this time around? With the Spinder? Or Mark? Huh. Which one, which one, which one? Alright, then there's... There's more votes for Mark. So, let's go with Mark this time around. Now, I've upgraded and I'm broke again, so I cannot do anything else. Let's go back and here we have it. Another mod or more prana? Ah, uh, let's go with mod. Let's see what we can get. I'm quite a fan of Juno's song. Pretty catchy and happy. Now it's more of these little guys. <laughs> Nothing special right now. Now let's see if they can go a little bit further here so I can get more of them in one shot. And there we go. Sadly, I cannot get the three of them with this. But getting two of them in one go, it's pretty nice. And then they can go like pui pui when they die. It's kind of like a little um, heart honking. Ooh, and now here we have the it's big, it's big Brother. We have the tiny ones and here's the more dangerous one. Now, let's see if it goes. Here I've stunned him and there's a status effect. Sadly, the 50% chance didn't work and it was just one hit damage. No, I, don't, I only have two attacks right now, so there isn't much I can do, but we have enough, and we can go for it. Ah, oh, the overcharge. Now, this is a pretty sad one, because as you can see, every third use gives me one damage extra, and the second of stun. I'm it to the front explosion, like every third, like every third time I use my front explosion, I will get some damage. Or maybe I could override one of my mods for the other skills. But I just have to this finder on Mark, so maybe this time around I will give it to the Prime Explosion. I'm not a fan of this. I'm usually like, I really like to keep my Prime Explosion like completely damage free. But maybe this time around it would be useful. So I guess we'll go with the easy one and just give it to this skill. And now we have more cores and prana. I will go with cores. And... Oh, 
Let's see what happens. Ooh, this is a good one. Now, I really like this little trick, so I can quickly skip this little um, goopy stuff. Just like, boom, a tiny front dash, and it's done. These guys are very aggressive. I hope I do not die. I'm afraid of it. And let's wait. There we go. My cooldown is over. I can do this. And here's the body. Uh, I do not like you, man. No. Nope. Let's see. Here we go. Here we go. There's a status effect. There we go. This time, the... um. <laughs> the weakness finder is working, so you can see I, will ha I have my chance to do 50% well, an extra damage And now this guy is almost dead and if I'm not mistaken, there we go The overcharge is working so I can finish him off with the print explosion Pretty neat combo, right? Ah, two of them Sometimes they like to like <laughs> They like to follow Morgan around and again, if we time it correctly, we can get them to attack each other. It sometimes works, sometimes it doesn't. Usually they don't really... <clears throat> like... Hit my call when I try to do this, and they usually like go directly to the... <clears throat> stabilizer and, and freak me out. But... Let's see if this works out. See? They... They do not listen. Woo! Oh, my amazing plan didn't work. Never mind that. Whoa. So you have to be careful because this guy is just about to attack my ah! stabilizer. And if I'm not careful, I'm going to die. Oh, there we go. There we go. I'm still in the game. Still in the game. Let's see. Let's see. Boom. It's all going great right now. I'm safe. So far. Still going great. Sadly, I didn't time my status effect correctly there. Whew, I did it! <laughs> yeah! I'm not sure if I would say they're... <clears throat> I can't say I love them. They're... They're kind of my sworn enemies. Like, they can be kind of dumb, and they just, like, start hitting each other, but... Ah, oh, well, there's, like, a lot of them in the stage. It gets pretty, like, anxiety in the, in the thing. Yeah, let's get another core. Let's really... Get those mods pumping up. Now... Let's... On this guy, and let's try to get him before he gets me. And I'm afraid, so there we go. He's done, he's toast. Now I can go for this one. And as you can see, when in some levels, when they're just have to get like a larger in size you will see how now i have two stabilizers to protect so it gets very it can get pretty hard like they have these two guys and how will i do it that they do not get the stabilizers and i really hope i do not die please wish me luck guys ah nice that was a great combo I do not like them. They're they're very scary. <laughs> At least for me. Like they can get very 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 close to the uh, stabilizer and what does done you're kind of toast. Now you gotta be careful to not just leave Morgan laying around like I was just about to do. I could have have gone. Now let's see what comes up. Ah okay okay okay. So I will just sun this guy. While I'll deal with the tiny ones, they're, they're tiny and they're like kind of not that scary, but if you're not careful, even they can ruin your run. 
But let's see. Yeah, it's starting to get spiky. See, that's that's really close to the stabilizer, and I'm very very scared. Uh... Ah, that was a nice combo. See that? Whew. I'm safe. Safe once more. Hmm. Ah, this is a tough one. What do you say, guys? Should we go with the porch and get better mods? Or should we give it a chance to see what another special mod we get? I think we only have the Prana Dash. Yeah, I could finish upgrading my last skill or I could get some fancy new mods. Huh. Yeah, that's another boat for the special mode. Let's see what else we can get. Yeah, the special modes are pretty fancy. I like the fancy stuff. Yeah, let's go with special mode this time around. I mean, I could have gotten a little respite by going to the forge, but we liked it extremely. Now we've got a little snake friend. Let's see what we get. I thought we had a pretty good run right now. It's been pretty calm. You know how it is with roguelites. Sometimes you get a pretty... <clears throat> a pretty nice run where the enemies are like that aggressive and... You get like the nice levels where you're like decent at and then you get like the bad stuff and then you just suffer and die a slow agonizing death. But that's not the case right now. I'm having great luck. And yes, I'm still on my first run. Will we have a chance? Yeah, double dash or long dash. The double dash can be pretty interesting, but I'm usually pretty bad at that kind of uh, combo. So maybe I think I will go with long dash this time around. Oh, but everybody's voting for the double dash. Uh, all right, I will, I will hear you guys. So let's go with double dash then. No, I could try it out, but. <sighs> I could do more course, or I could try my luck and see if I get another kind of mod that's a little bit more to my taste. Mm, I think I will go with the core. I chose the double dash. In the end, we chose the double dash. Huh. <laughs> oh no, this guy is pretty scary. Spicy boy. Now this little guy here, he's just chilling, doing nothing. Looks pretty... <clears throat> like, pretty inoffensive, right? Just doing there. But if I do get close to him, I'm completely stuck and I cannot do my skills. So I have to be careful to try and not to attack in there, otherwise I'm going to be toast. See, there's nothing I can do in here. But I'm safe here, so I'm going to do this little trick. Oh! Now this is scary! <laughs> Let's see if I can do this correctly and... Oh! Alright, alright, alright. He's here. And I can do this. And I guess we can stun this guy a little bit. I cannot do anything in there. Maybe I should get out of here. Now... I could use him up. And... Uh, what should I do? What should I do? Okay, I can do this so they can hit each other. 
And then I just have to miss this. And oh, see? Chain reaction is great. As long as they're next to each other, I will stun them both. It's a great skill to have. Pretty useful. Give me a little bit more time to think through what I will do. Now I could go with the sniper shot. And there we go. Here's just this guy. And I'm safe and I will not die this time around for now. Ah. Okay, 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 okay. There's these little guys. I'm here. I can do this. And oh no! Oh no! That was bad. <laughs> that was rather bad. I wasn't fast enough with this guy. And now he's out to get me. And I should probably get this guy in here. And it's fine. No! He's pretty fast! I'm in trouble, guys. Oh no. So yeah, this is kind of bad. This guy is pretty fast. And oh. And I... No, no, no. Okay, so right now I don't have my stun available. He really said yeet. He just went like vroom. And I'm in danger because I... Cannot do anything right there. <laughs> oh boy. I was doing pretty well right like there. Was I? Ah, <sighs> but it happens. Yes. Nah, pull shot is terrible. That's the worst skill ever. Let's see if we do get it in the um <clears throat> in the skill. Yeah, that guy was pretty scary. He was pretty dope. He was pretty fast. Very aggressive, very against the stabilizers, and I was out of options. Like usually you have to be careful and look at what you're doing in the game. Maybe I got a little bit too distracted with the um <laughs> with the chat. It happens. Yeah, I do need something that could help me with the faster enemies. Maybe a trap or something to move it around. Let's see what we can do. So yeah. My run is over and I died. Well, not really, you don't die in this game exactly. There's not like it stuff always happens like it time keeps moving on inside the game. You just like get very beat up and then you have to go back again. But it's not like oh, in normal uh, I forgot the word. Normal uh, roguelike games where you shall like you die and it's kind of like you go back in time to try it again or it's a new character or you get uh, respawned magically by being a god but um yeah that doesn't happen here you just uh, <laughs> go back to the <coughs> human world so yeah I don't know if any one of you guys noticed while we were doing battling all these enemies and doing all this kind of fancy stuff going all over the place it was kind of a weird tricky dimension now that little place we had been before is called the Bast. this is uh, as i was saying if any one of you guys joined us in the previous art stream this is the kind of dimension where you go and explore and do all this kind of fancy stuff as a mercenary and when you're done in there you go back to the human world where Everybody's very human looking and there's no fancy aliens or little goopy enemies. And oh let's let's make like we didn't see this. Yeah, <laughs> we didn't just see that. <laughs> now it's over here, I'm going to move this guy here. Yeah, nobody saw that. But yeah. Uh, as I was saying, if anybody likes this, please join us in the um uh, da, 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 da. I'm sorry, words just kind of like fly past me at times. But yeah, please join uh, our test um our test team. If you want to be a beta tester of the game, you can always uh, uh join us by <clears throat> filling in that little form that's just that just appeared in chat. And if you like what you see, 
please follow us on our social media. You can follow us on Twitch, you could join us on Facebook, Twitter, we're pretty active on Twitter too. Maybe even TikTok, if that's more of your cup of tea. Now we have a tiny little car. I like cars. Yeah, it, it might be nice to be carried by Thomas. I think so too. I think so too, chat. Now stuff is free. Geometric and funny here. You're just like chilling in your car. Well, Thomas' car, that's not your car. But pretty standard stuff like you know you just went from this kind of weird dimension of course you're going to be a little bit dumb, <laughs> tired but yeah and once we're back from here <clears throat> yeah i do think thomas will lift and now we're back to our apartment now this is how it, the, the normal runs inside our can work you just like Go to this mysterious this by dimension called the past, do all your bath stuff, and once you're done, you come back to your apartment. Where, as you can see, we have a dog. And this dog little here, his name is Moog. Moog? I think it's called Moog, if that's the right word to say it. But it's a dog. And as you can see, he looks kind of sad, but it's part of his charm. Just a dog that's there. <laughs> When we were doing the game, we were all like, hey, okay, what if we had a dog? And we all like that idea, so we have a dog. I think I think all games should have a dog. Or at least one pet. Having pets in games is just fun. It's just like, it's a tiny animal and it's just there. Yeah, he does have... Uh, Eeyore? Is that pronounced correctly? I hope I said it right. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, who is this mysterious lady? Now, once we were in the, <clears throat> as, we were in, as I was saying, we were in the bath that we were just doing our normal um, mercenary stuff. But now that we're back in the human world, we need to like report to the ones that we were doing our mission. And this one in here, well, this is Cynthia, and she's the one that works for Beast, the one that we just did our mission for. Yeah, probably, as I was saying, if any one of you guys did play or watch the next first stream, you might remember this mysterious voice as somebody who was just um, a shadow. A shadow that was also male. But now we have had our time to design new characters and that will be her. I hope you guys like her. She's pretty fancy and very smiley. Now she's just talking about normal, you know, mercenary stuff, get the job done, and we'll pay you. And, well, I would say Move is just depressed because that's his face. You know, there's, you know how there's some dogs that just look very, very sad just by existing? You know, like uh, the Basset Hounds? Basset Hounds are always like, Basset Hounds look very, very sad, but they just have like all their skin hanging out. So they just look sad. But they're not sad. They're, they're happy to be a dog. Even if their whole expression and body language and everything tells you, oh, that dog is sad. They're actually sad. I'm sure they're happy to be a dog and just do dog stuff. Ah, to be a dog. That must be a pretty, a pretty, pretty easy life. You're just laying there, you get treats, you get food, you get balls and you just like catch the balls and throw the balls and have a, have a fun time. Yeah, being a dog must be nice. I'm sure Mog's not actually sad. He just looks sad. Oh, he gets plenty of food, all right. He gets plenty of food, don't worry. <laughs> this, this little dog already gets pretty, plenty of food. So yeah, as I was saying, once you finish the run, you go back to your apartment and you can see, well, basically what you do in the apartment is just um, set up your run, see what skills you'll get, see your next mission, see your stuff. So yeah, I will go to the bar. And since it's back, 
sure you're still you some stuff about getting some skills. And now we'll get a chance. To get one nice skill. The mine. This little skill that uh, Cynthia was talking about, where the bees uh, team came up with a new skill. And I bought it. And now I'm way more prepared, prepared for the run, because now I have four skills. And yeah, maybe this isn't one that's, that works exactly for uh, moving the enemies around, but I can protect myself with <laughs> nice little skills. I really like the mine. It's not the most popular in the team, but I'm definitely team mine. Now this is our place where we can do stuff and buy more stuff. See, he's happy. He's happy and well fed. Just doing dog stuff. I'm going to disappear myself just a little second there. See, you can see this dog in all of his glory. Just a dog. He's very happy. He's very, very happy. He's just very um, wrinkly. Lots of wrinklies. Yeah, he's definitely a big boy. Kind of a, a chonker, if that's the right word. <laughs> but yeah. I love Moog. Everybody loves Moog. Now, I could get some credits and boy new stuff. But, well, I can't do anything in here because I'm dirt poor. See, I just have zero credits. I'm poor and I'm out of money to get anything interesting. Maybe if I get lucky in my next run, I can get something better. Whoa, I did something funny there. But yeah, I will go back. Now, as you can see, I already have my four skills and I can I could get another stuff, but I haven't progressed in the game enough to get new skills. So right now I just have these options and I don't have money to get something else. So yeah. There's not else I, there's not much else I can do in the in the apartment. So it's time to go back and explore this mysterious dimension known as the best. And here we go. Right now I only have missions for this, the one that Cynthia works for, as you saw before. And I'm going to do just that. And let's see if I get a better chance in this run around. Now we're in this mysterious place, and as you can see, we're about to enter this dimension and everything is about to get all creepy. Well, I wouldn't say it's creepy, it's more like... Psychedelic. Yeah, that would be it. Okay, more of the whoopy stuff. Now see, I'm more prepared, and let's try out the mine. Now, I can lay this little thing here, and the enemies just fall right to it. It's a great skill, just useful to have it there and leave there. I'm protected from everything that way. Or maybe not. <laughs> Whoops. Now let's see if I do it there this time. Ah, he totally ignored me. Whoa. How rude. There we go. Okay, now I have a chance of adding stone to my skill. Hmm. I can give it the revolver or the dash. Maybe the mine. Hmm. Stone is interesting, however, I already have the fire explosion. Maybe. Maybe I'll go with the mine. And always mods. The mods are always the best. It's fun to see what stuff is going to fall. Remember guys, if you like what you see and, it's and it seems like an interesting game that you guys would like to play, feel free to join us on our social media so you can see more of our development. And also you can 
join us on our Kickstarter. We, we still haven't released it, but if the game looks interesting to you, you can join us over there and be ready to be notified when it does come out. Now, it's um, it's a roguelite, so as you can see, I lost all of my powerful skills from last time. I'm back to square one with it, but I now have a mine, so maybe that will help me to do a little bit better than last time. Maybe with the mine, I will be actually protected from those guys. Those evil, fast guys that really wanted to get me. Huh. That's an interesting one. However, it's just a 30% chance, so... Uh, the cooldown is pretty good, but... Whew. Hmm... I think I will give it to the front of dash. And we'll get some cores. See if we can improve either of those mods, if you know those come up next time. This little guy is back. <laughs> now, let's pack him into... Boom, there we go. Tiny little mind trick. Now I gotta be real careful that this one doesn't explode and he doesn't get to eat. It's fun. It's pretty fun just being on a grid. Anyone in the chat a fan of grid games? Now Juno's back and she's talking about some interesting stuff. Oh, maybe she's talking about somebody else. Who is this mysterious person? Pretty interesting. No idea who that could be. But by doing this, we just have another chance to get uh, <clears throat> new contracts from another um, group, which is the one that you know is part of. So the next time we go back to the apartment, we'll have a chance to try another zone. If Let's see what happens. If I do it right, maybe we'll get a chance to see it. Well, if I do it right, we will not see it this stream. If I die, we'll probably see it. But let's see what happens. Let's see if I do better this time around. As always, wish me luck, guys. So, Juno's back. Pretty tough. And there we go. Fast reaction or unstable ship. Um, I think I will go with fast reaction right now. It's well, lower cooldown is pretty useful, but 30% is very low. So let's get this one. And we broke again. So that's all there is to go. And I want another mod. Mods are always the, the option. These little goofy guys are back. But I'm way more prepared this time around because I have a mind. 
I feel strong, I feel ready. I'm ready for anything, guys. I'm sure I can do it. Or can I? Divine is a very simple skill. You could say it's a little bit more defensive in the way that you can just leave it laying around on near the stabilizer so you can get your, ch your give yourself a little chance of a breathing room. So I can just like get ready with these guys. And if any of them does get close to it, I could be protected. So yeah, this works have been pretty useful for the other guy. The one that just like went swoop and got my stabilizer pretty fast. But right now I'm doing pretty well. And there we go. That's pretty interesting and useful. I think it would be a good idea to give it to hmm, Revolver. Yeah, they're pretty cute. They're all like very... They're kind of like little gummies. Like they're tiny and they're all like round. They're pretty cute, but as you can see, they really can pack a punch, so... You shouldn't let yourself be fooled by their cuteness. It's always the cute ones that are always the most dangerous. I do not trust the cute ones. Now, let's see... You have the standard mine. A little shooty, shooty time action. A little swooping right there. Just getting him to... Yeah, here's fine. Or maybe not. I was sure he would get to me. But... Yeah, there we go. Whoa. <laughs> what a combo, ho. Yeah, he's very cute. We say he's kind of like a little uh, sh shrimp. I think he looks kind of like a shrimp with all of his tiny feet and all like... Little uh, roundness. Would he taste like shrimp? Who knows? Now we got my skills. Hmm... We could add more damage and some stun, or we could go with an AoE. Oh, what seems more interesting, guys? Should we go with the big boom, or should we go with the extra damage? Hmm... Boom? Alright, let's go with the big boom. Now there's only Prana or Pors. Uh, let's go with Pors. Could be useful. And we're now in the Mickey Mouse stage. Pretty interesting, huh? It has tiny ears. And it looks cute. I like it and... Yeah, I shouldn't get too distracted with the, um... With the little phone off. Oh. Yeah, don't do that, guys. <laughs> when you're playing, you should think about this stuff. And not so much about how cute the stage looks. But it is pretty cute. Now let's see if I can do this right. And I failed. No, whoa, that's scary. I'm going to leave another one of these here. And, huh, they really wanted to go there. How aggressive these guys are. As you can see, they kind of don't really care that much about the stabilizer. They're more about, like, squishing Morgan. How aggressive. So yeah, don't be fooled. They might look all cute and round and kind of huggable, but they really don't 
They're not your friends. Do not trust them. They're cute, but they're not your friends. Ah. Hmm. Here we go. If I do this right, he should go over there and... Hey, it didn't work. I didn't time my super skill correctly. But... There we go. Maybe, maybe. I'm still in the game. I'm still alive. Oh, oh, let's go to the forge, get some stuff. What do you think about the music, guys? Do you like it? Quite a fan of it. Hey. Now again, I just have some... One core. Three mods. Um... I think I'm gonna go with the fast reaction again. I really want a nicer cooldown. I'm a fan of cooldowns. I can feel like speedy, zoomy, and everything. Whoa, these guys look, look scary, huh? They look angry. I say let's get this guy here. And I should be careful there. Whoa! What's spooky? Now, let's see... Let's keep this guy entertained with the mind. And... Yeah, they really want to get more than two. Wow! I failed! I really tried to bait them. See, they kind of did, but then they didn't. And now I don't have special skills to be all fancy on them. But I'm doing pretty well right now. Oh! That was a fast one. He's pretty fast! Very, very fast. No, 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 you shouldn't go there. I'm just going to bait myself. Wait up. No, wait, that was kind of a bad idea. I was sure I could do that for... Getting him to ignore the stabilizer, but I wasn't that good with that. Oh no! Okay, alright. Ooh, he got baited with my mind. That's great. Now I'm going to leave one here just in case. And I'm going to get this guy here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing pretty fine, I think. Let's see. Hmm... No, wait. Maybe if I leave another mine here... And this guy gets over here... Ooh, whoa! I think I attack myself with my own mine! That sometimes happens. Yeah, he really doesn't seem huggable, huh? Whoa! Huh! Let's see... We just came up with fun little bug. Ah, it happens. This is still a work in progress. We still have some fun little mysterious bugs that... Can sometimes appear in the game. So yeah, that's exactly why we're looking for more people to help us with the beta testing. So once again, if you guys like the game, if the, if you had fun watching me play and you would like to play it too, we would really like if you could help us joining us with the beta testing. So yeah, maybe the bot could give me a little help in there and post the beta testing link again. That would be lovely, but I'm sure you guys already saw that little link there. If you haven't, please, if the game seems interesting, join us for the beta testing where you can have your own fun trying to attack those cute little horrible enemies and yeah <clears throat> I hope you all guys enjoyed the stream yeah please join us on <clears throat> please join us for the beta testing and once again if you like the game please join us for our kickstarter or also if you, you could join, join us on the on our social media, we're pretty active on Twitter, on Facebook, we also use like, TikTok a lot. And yeah, 
we really hope you guys enjoyed the game. So yeah, that would be all for today. Have a great weekend, everybody. We'll see each other in a few weeks. <clears throat> Bye!